Hello, uh, it's been a long time. I haven't uh, been doing the blog for a while. Um, I'm being very, very busy. I've been working a lot. I've been working uh, uncomfortable hours. I've been working uh, mostly like 10, 11 o'clock and finish late in the evening. And I've been applying for some jobs. Um, I've been uh, applying for jobs, some IT jobs. There has actually been uh, a couple of help desk jobs. And there was another job where you go out as a technician and help uh, help people with computer problems and even install telecom things like telephone lines. Um, I've been applying and, and we see how it goes. Um, so it's been very much. and. There have been heaps of things happening, and so I've been very busy. I've been getting a front bumper bar, so now the car, a white one, so now the car looks really, really good. And I've been doing some some uh, stuff with the exhaust system because it was leaking a little bit. So now the car is actually really good. Um, so that's one thing that's been been taking a lot of time from. Actually, it, it it is a little bit of a lie that I've been doing a lot of things. I've been busy with things, but I haven't actually done that much the 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 lately. Ever since Harvey Bay, it's been I don't know where the time has been been going. It's just been flying. The time is really passing by quick. Um, I'm selling my Falcon. Uh, I had a problem with uh, the roadworthy. When you sell a car in Australia, you need a roadworthy certificate. And um, it didn't pass the first time because I was wanting to a guy that tried to rip me off. So one of the things he was picking on was a damn oil leak. And every old car more or less leaking oil. And he wanted to have like 400 bucks just to fix that. And then there were heaps of other things uh, he wanted to have fixed. And the thing is, this car was okay just a couple of months ago. And, and the, the crash of the car didn't affect anything because it was just the front of the car. The engine and the wheels and everything wasn't affected at all. Um, so I got an advice from the locals. Uh, it's very good to have local friends. Um, they told me that there is a guy in Rosedale, it's a little community, 55 k's from here. And I was driving the car there and he was having a look for 20 minutes. And he actually passed the car. So uh, I'm very lucky. So now I have a roadworthy. And now I try to sell the car. I've been having a couple of interested buyers, but because I didn't have the roadworthy certificate and it took me a couple of days to get it arranged, uh, they lose interests. And then I have uh, Dan, my, my British friend. He's been leaving Australia. He's back home in England and he told me <laughs> it's, it's uh, dark, it's cold, and uh, he said he could really see that the recession has grabbed England and, and, and he said it wasn't uh, pleasant at all, it was no good vibes, but he got a job. But the problem is he, he bought a desktop gaming computer, which he built, and he has to, to sell the computer, basically. And I need to do that for him. And there's been no one interested, and I've been driving around town today to five, six different computer shops and no one was interested. There was one, but he he only wanted like 300 bucks and it worth like 500 bucks. So, and, and I don't have the boxes for the computer, so it's going to be hard to, to send it. Um, other than that, it's been mostly routine things been doing, going to the beach, work, um, going on a couple of dinners and been having two dinners with uh, with Jody's parents and it's been very nice. Um, and the work, I'm still packing the cucumbers and I'm really, really tired of it. It's really, really boring. I'm doing the same thing every day. 
packing the damn cucumbers and I get totally exhausted. I burn I burn around 2,100 calories every day I'm working. Basically what I do is I have crates with cucumbers. I lift it up and put it on a pallet. And then I fill the pallet. I have some paperwork where it's going to and which day it's, it's going to be delivered and how many cucumbers it is. And then I do the same thing over and over again. And the time passing so slow and we're always working so stupid hours. It's always like 9.30, 10.30 and always finish late so usually I come home very late and then I have some hours in the morning but the hours in the morning sucks because you can't do anything, you're too tired or I'm not a morning person so I end up just wasting the time in the morning to do nothing and I'm actually working tomorrow and that's very very sad because we were planning to go to Dreamworld, it's like a big amusement park a lot bigger than the Liseberg the one uh, at home which is the Scandinavia's biggest one um, it's a lot bigger and they even have a water world so I was really really looking forward to to go there but because I have to work tomorrow I can't do anything and I've been trying to swap weekends uh, but I have been failing to do that and me and Jody has been booking a vacation to uh, to Asia we're going to first fly to Malaysia, to Kuala Lumpur, and then we're going to uh, fly over to Vietnam, and the last stop will be Bangkok in Thailand. We're going to spend three weeks in Asia, and we're going to do that in November. And I've been uh, been starting to miss Sweden a lot. And I miss my friends at home, and of course I miss my family very much. So I miss you guys, and and my sister, Emily, and her kids. I miss them a lot too. So it's going to be very nice to be able to come back and, and visit Sweden, and, and just keep up with my family, and my sister, and sister kids. And it's going to be very fun to see them, because they're growing so fast in that age. Um, so, yeah. And today we have a very, very sunny and a very, very nice day. It's been uh, more and more cold. We have, like, today, I think it's 26 degrees outside. And uh, here is the veggie garden. As you can see, the tomatoes is not that happy. It's alright. It's been a lot of fruit on the tomatoes. And the rock melons is is not doing so good. You can see here the leaves is not feeling good at all. They're starting to crack and they're not producing. I've been having a couple of of the rockies, but it's it's not. They are very very slow. Uh, but the tomatoes is the one that's doing the best. And. Uh, we have the capsicums, it's actually alright. Um, now we can see here, this one is starting to be red, so this one will be ready in a couple of days. But it's because of the heavy rain, the, the roots have been starting to get rotten. So, yeah, I hope the weather will be better so my plants can, can recover. And I hope we get some more rock melons. And we have some some salads, and they are they are pretty reliable. They are always producing good, and the lifespan is short. So I need to re replant them from while to while. So here we have the lettuce, and the the fun the fun thing with them, with those ones is that I can harvest them continuously. So I just pick the outer leaves, and then they grow out again. Some some people they they just grab the whole one like you the one you buy in the supermarket. Um, and last weekend we broke a record. It was because of the floodings. So the Bundaberg Regional Regional Council they arranged a festival, a music festival, and 
we had a song that uh, it was supposed to be more than 600 something singing the same song simultaneously and the song was about the flooding and how the community survived and the community was going together and, and helped each other and it was pretty nice but it was raining and it took like one hour to to practice the song and until we actually were going live on uh, national radio so that was that was fun um but take care uh, back home i miss you a lot and i hope you have a nice summer we get winter and you get summer but our winter is not so bad so i'm happy all right take care and have a good one cheers mates